Hey guys, how are you doing today? Hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. And before starting to watch this video, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. So in my previous video, I showed you how to download the tree cover data from the Modis website. And as you remember, it was the HDF data format. And that is one of the types of multidimensional data format we use in remote sensing. That means that within that data set, it has sub data sets and it can be a table, it can be a raster or it can be multidimensional arrays. So we are going to add that, that data that we downloaded yesterday. And so remember it's in HDF format. So when we click on add, it shows the various sub data sets that it contains and as you can see there are about six of them and it has the percent recover the non-tree vegetation and the non-vegetated that means totally bare so depending on what you want to do the type of research you can if you want the tree cover you can use this first one if you want the vegetation data that is not trees you can use the second and if you want to analyze the bare areas you can use the third the other ones are the standard deviation data so if you want to show all of them you can click on select all and add as rgb layer to visualize how they all look like and so that's how it looks like and if you want to add an individual layer assuming you want to use just one of them for example let's add the percent recover data so we are going to select on this first variable here and click on OK. So it's going to show us only the tree cover data. And you can see it ranges from 0 to 200. Let's change the color. And the 200 value represent the water areas. So these areas are the areas that have water. While the tree cover ranges from 0 to 100. So remember i wanted to do an analysis for nairobi so i'm going to need to clip this raster into the nairobi area so i'm going to add the shape file for the nairobi area and clip it so you can see here very small it's the nairobi county shape file so what i'm going to do is clip this raster to this area So here in the search toolbar, search clip raster and click on this first option. Specify your input raster and the output extent and make sure you click on use input features for clipping geometry and specify where you want to store it. So let me store it as tree cover. Nairobi. It's always good to add the extension TIFF because sometimes the ARC map procedure might fail if you fail to add that extension. So you just wait for it to load. And that's our result. So you can see the tree cover for Nairobi County. And the white areas are there are the areas where we have the water areas so remember we want to see the tree cover so we we only want the values that range from one to a hundred because the 200 value is not for tree it's for the water areas and you can see that from the modis guidelines so what I need to do to only extract the values between 1 to 100 is I'm going to use the raster calculator. So again, to use the raster calculator, you need to make sure that the special analyst extension is on under the customize menu. So just search for raster calculator and click on it so what i want are the values that ranges between one to a hundred 
So one way to do this is to set null the values that are greater than 100. That means the output will set the values that are greater than 100 to no data values. So you won't be able to see them. So I'm going to click on this operator here, set null. And then here we are going to click on the raster that we want to do the operation on. And that is the tree cover Nairobi area. And then we want to have the values that range between 1 to 100. So we are going to set the null for the values that are greater than 100. So we click here, greater than hundred sorry so this is how the expression looks like so we are going to set now the chip cover values for Nairobi that are greater than a hundred that means when you want to see that range between one to a hundred then let's specify our output raster let's name it percent to cover Nairobi and then we click OK so this is our output and as you can see it's different from the our previous raster raster and now it ranges from 1 to 79 that means the tree cover in Nairobi ranges from 1 to 79 percent so here you can generate your tree cover map and when you see this map here these are the areas that have uh, a lot of tree cover so that means it could be a forest or something like that so that's the end of this video. That's how you basically process the HDF data format in ArcGIS. Thank you so much for watching this video.